Hey, what's up, guys? This is Federal Cubes here, and this is going to be the sixth tutorial in the 2048 uh, Java tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to get to drawing the tiles on the screen. So, if you go back, if you remember this tile class we created in I think episode three, we have to add some of it, add some code to it. You really only have to add two methods for right now public void update and that's gonna be empty for now because there's nothing to update that's mainly for the animations but we do need a render method graphics 2d g alright and this render method is pretty simple all we're gonna do is draw the image Draw the image, the tile image at x, y, and no. All right, that's actually it for this uh, class. So let's go ahead, go into the game board class, and whoops, Control Shift S. So now that we have those methods, um, we're going back into this class, and we got to get to drawing the tiles. So we're gonna make two methods. One's going to be private void start. And all it's going to do is create a for loop and spawn in the first two tiles. So, yeah, what is going on? For i is less than starting tiles, i plus plus, and uh, like that, spawn random. All right, we obviously need to create the method spawn random, and all this is going to do is it's going to pick a spot and decide whether a two or a four is going to spawn in. So we need to create a random 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 equals new random because we need a random number generator. We need a boolean called not valid. So we're just going to assume that the first spot it picks is not valid because then we're going to do a while loop. So while not valid remains true, we're going to try to find a valid location. So the location is going to be random that next int and there's 16 different spots on the map. We're going to do rows time row time call wait rows times calls that should give us the right amount. Now you could do two random integers. You could do one for row and one for columns, or you could do it how I'm doing, where you're getting the location and then finding the row is going to be equal to the location divided by the rows, and the column is going to be location modulus the columns, uh, like that. All right, so what does this mean? Well, the row, the, f the zeroth spot is at zero, zero, right? Zero, row, zero columns. The five spot is gonna be one row and the second and one column. Zero, one, two, three. It's gonna be at, yes, one column. So one row, one column. So how you, so row five divided by uh, four is gonna be one because all integers round down. And five modulus four is gonna be one because there's one remainder. If you pick another spot like uh, nine, let's do that. So four, seven, eight, nine. Nine should be at row two, column one. So let's try that out. Nine divided by four is indeed two. And nine modulus four is gonna be one. So that's how you convert from a single dimension to two dimensions, basically a number to row to column. Anyways, the current, we're going to create a current tile at row column on the board. Um, now remember, any empty slots will be null, so we need to check if the current is null, which means it is a valid spot. So the value is going to be equal to random random dot next 
int 10 less than 9 question mark 2 colon 4 so what does that mean there that's kind of like a condensed if statement so it's gonna find a random integer from uh, 0 to 9 both inclusive if it's less than 9 then it's gonna do 2 otherwise it's gonna do 4 it's basically a 90% chance of a 2 spawning in and a 10% chance of a 4 spawning in and yes that is uh, valid that's how um, the original game did it you can change it you can make any number you could put 2048 in here um, if you wanted to us uh, your game again now we're gonna say tile tile equals new tile the value the X of the tile and the Y of the tile now we need to go ahead and make these two methods get tile X and get tile Y so let's go ahead and make those all these methods do is they uh, they basically return where the X position of each tile would be so it's going to be returning the spacing plus the column times the tile dot width plus the column times the spacing so this is similar to when we figured out how wide our board was and all that other stuff um, it basically says well the x this is the x position in pixels so you got to indent by the spacing and then indent by every tile plus the spacing over and you're going to do the same thing for the tile y but we're going to take in a row because rows are uh, y along the y axis and columns are along the x axis x axis so it's going to be spacing plus row times tile dot height plus row times spacing all right pretty simple so once we have the tile we're basically just gonna say well the board at the row and column is now gonna be equal to that tile and it is now valid so now that not valid is false it's gonna say whoops we can't loop anymore it is now spawned in a random tile if it did if the current was not null and there was a tile there it would just go back up valid would not valid would be true it would find a new location and decide if that was valid um, later on we'll check for if you're dead basically there's no valid locations left and there's no moves you can make so after we create the board image we can start and uh, let me see if we have anything else to do in this video Hmm, let's see. Did that. Um, yes. So, I uh, almost forgot one of the most important parts is we actually have to draw the tiles. So, this is pretty self explanatory. You have to loop. Again, double for loop. You should be getting the hang of this by now. Again, you could do the single uh, variable and go all the way up to 16. And do uh, you know the whole row divide uh, total divided by rows and uh, total modulus columns? You could do that. I find it easier to do this. I'm not 100 percent sure if this is slower, but yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. You should never get under 60 frames per second in this game. Call plus plus. And then we want to just get get the current tile. We're also going to be doing this a lot at row and column. If the current tile is null, we don't need to render it, so just continue. And then render on the G2D. All right. Another thing we're going to do is in the update function, we're going to check if you've won the game. I know it's a bit weird to be making this now, considering you can't really even play the game. But I didn't want this video to be too short. I wanted to get in as much possible. The next video will start uh, getting into the actual game logic, uh, combining tiles and stuff. 
or I hope we will. Mm, there's a lot of code to go there, so I'll try my best. Anyways, this is going to be equal to row and column. If it's null, again, you want to continue. Otherwise, we need to update the tile. We then would need to reset the position. And this means slide it across the screen. Have, we're not going to make that right now. And then we're going to, uh, we need to create something in tile. At the very bottom, go ahead and make a method called public int get value. And all this is going to do is return value. And we're going to do if current.get value equals 2048, one equals true. All right, so that would check if you've won the game. Anyways, I think that is just about it. Let's go ahead and try this out. We have the spawn random. Yep, yep, yep. All right. And uh, we need to make sure we are updating the board. Let's go to the game class, double check we have everything in place. We're updating the board and we're rendering it. So if we run it, you will see. There you go. 2-2 two -two spawned in. Now, it should be 2-2s two most of the time, just considering that, um, uh, that it's a 90% chance that 2 spawns in. But as you see, a 4 spawned in here. I'm pretty sure it's a 1 in 100 chance of 2 4 spawning in. So that'd be interesting if that happened. And again, they're just picking random locations. If you ran this a million times, uh, you'd see that all locations were hit, 2s and 4s would go in. And it would be about 100,000 4s and 900,000 2s. But that's just probability, not really related at all. Um, and yeah, now there's no keyboard input, so you can't slide the tiles or anything. But they are spawning in, they're existing, and they're getting drawn. And in the next video, we will get to moving them around and doing some logic um, in terms of when they can combine and what happens and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys there.